Hi everyone, thanks for watching Access Hockey MI. In case you missed it, check out our video from last week where we discussed three forwards that we're excited to see at the upcoming Prospects Tournament held in Traverse City, Michigan for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, after that, it'll be the training camp for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, at the tournament, though, there are five, six, I always forget how many teams. There are a few <laughs> teams that um, they will all scrimmage against one another, and then at the end, one team wins. Uh, super cool. Yeah, it is super so cool. So we like to go watch it. sounds it. like you said stupid cool. <laughs> <laughs> it is stupid cool. <laughs> um, so today, to kind of follow on last week's video, we're going to talk about three defensemen that we're excited to see at this year's tournament. Um, and that's really what we're going to do. Yeah. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this video with all your hockey friends, um, and anybody who doesn't know about the tra the Prospects Tournament, because it's so much fun to watch, mm -hmm. just because they're all the young guns, they're all the ones that are trying to vie for spots, and that's what makes it so great, because mm -hmm. they just leave everything out there. It's just a lot of fun to watch that kind of hockey. It is. We're excited. I don't know if you could tell that yeah. or not. <laughs> <laughs> we leave this week, so it is this week. It yes. starts on Thursday. We yeah. leave Wednesday. So yeah. It'll be super exciting. Yes, it will It's be. vacation. It's already for exciting. <laughs> So the first one is a name that's very, very familiar uh, in the Detroit organization already. It's Simon Edvinson, or I should say Simone. I think that's how you say it. He's it's Swedish. It's so. Edvinson. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> first name, bleh. <laughs> so, so last way in, he was 6'4", 198, kind of a big boy. He was drafted just in 2021, sixth overall. So he's a very recent draft. He was signed for an ELC back in April of this year. Um, so there's a lot of anticipation around him because he is one of the more promising as far as size and yeah. production. He spent last season with Frolunda HC, which if you watched last week's video, Soderblom, one of our other draftees, also played with him. So they're very familiar with each other. Yeah. Um, and as a defenseman, he had 19 points in 44 games. Yeah. So he's there's a lot of hype around him right now. I would say you would have to live under a rock <laughs> if you didn't know about Edvinson. And you'd also have to be kind of silly if you weren't excited to see Edvinson. That's true. Because That's I true. think he's a highly... He's very highly touted, drafted mm -hmm. very high, drafted the same pick as uh, Mort Sider, who turned out to play with the Griffins for a full season and then get pulled up in the next season to play with the Red Wings. He was in Europe for a little bit, too. Yeah, and there he remains, is with the Red Wings. So mm -hmm. um, the last D that we saw go on the fast track was pretty recent. Mm -hmm. And so I think that everybody is really excited to see where Edvinson might end up. And as far as I'm concerned, I think he could go either way. I think he could start Grand Rapids, and this is why we're excited to see him, because I want to see him play. I want to see how he handles it. I want to see how much better he is than who he's playing around, because mm -hmm. that's really the determiner. Like, are you playing higher than your league? Are you playing higher than your competitors? Right. Because that's when it gets... When your eye, when the well, eye gets higher, I guess. Yeah, you start looking. At <laughs> and he's so tall. So. He is. Yeah, so he's he's a big deal, and he's already, of course, got his invite to training camp and yeah. everything, and he will be somewhere in Michigan starting the season. Yeah. Um, but again, I mean, there's a lot of speculation on what could happen. I think training camp is going to be a big deciding yeah. factor for that, um, and a probably preseason too, how he ends up handling preseason as well. Yeah. Um, our second guy, we haven't talked about him in quite some time. It's Emil Viro. The last time we talked about him was May of last year. Um, so he, it's, it's been a little bit. So as a little refresher, he's six foot, 165 ish. He was drafted in 2020. Um, I say ish because we don't know yeah, for sure yet. They're all going to get weighed and measured this could week. Could be anyway. a pound or two off. Yeah. <laughs> or, or a couple. Hello, everybody. <laughs> but he was drafted in 2020, 70th overall, so that's the third round. So still decently high up there, kind of left middle of the pack, really. Yeah, and just let me jump in. Sure. He was in Liga last year, so mm -hmm. he was playing with TPS in Liga, in Liga. And he's also, I would say we haven't talked about him in a while because he's, I would say with the silly season, everybody who was overseas or in Europe was kind of forgotten about almost. Yeah. Kind of like, a, okay, well, we have to focus on who's here now because this is who our team is. We can't get anybody right. over here. Everything was kind of halted. So who knows how quickly he would have come over here. Mm -hmm. um, and so he was playing in Liga. He got seven points in 52 games played. So not huge production by any means, but he's still, I mean, Liga's a good developmental league. Mm -hmm. So I'm just glad he was able to play and that he was right. able to get some experience behind him. And he is so far um, assigned to GR. Mm -hmm. So we should see him in Grand Rapids. I wouldn't think he's going to go Detroit. Detroit. Right. I would say that he's probably for sure Grand Rapids. Yeah, and I think with Vero, the, the thing that I'm excited about is that he was just in World Juniors, so he won yeah. silver with Team Finland. He, yeah, that's a he, huge... It's a huge deal. Huge jump. And he had a lot of production in the World Juniors, yeah. so it showed a lot of push and I think a lot of growth from him. Um, I think in the last video, I actually watched it before this just to see how nice. scruffy was we were. Was it scary? We were scruffy looking like Han. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out to the guy who noticed Han back there. <laughs> but um, with 
with his development and everything and kind of looking back from what we thought of him then to what he is now, he has grown a little bit and a lot of it I don't think is something that's going to be necessarily like Ed Vincent where it's like he's a yeah. big point producer necessarily. Yeah. He's he's a hard shot kid, but he's a big, based on his points, he likes to kind of sit back and play his role. So yeah. I think we'll expect to see a lot of that out of him. And that's totally fine. We The two-way player is really great and we love those, of course, because you like to be able to rely on your D mm-hmm. sometimes to get the points needed or the jump needed in the game, mm-hmm. maybe if you're like dead in the water. Um, but to have someone who is playing their position and who you can rely on to do that is also very important. The third guy that we're excited to see that we, I feel like we've been talking about this guy for years. Because <laughs> we have. Albert Johansson. <laughs> like, it's about time that we're going to see this kid. Hopefully in Grand Rapids coming up because I just, some of these guys is like, all right, just get over here. Yeah. Just, let me see you play over here. Let's just get these teams going. Let's yep. just get our prospects in. Let's yep. just do it. Um, he was drafted in 2019, so three years. I feel like we've been talking about him like forever. forever. Um, he was 60th overall. So all these guys have been first, second, and third round. So that's first, third, and second is mm-hmm. in the order that we've talked about him. He's had 25 points in 52 games played with a little lower, um, would you call it, division of SHL hockey? Yeah. Like yeah, a, it's, it's still SHL. It's under but Ferlunda. The caliber of the team is just a tear, tiny less than terrible. so. Ferlunda HC would be like the elite SHL team. So Edvinson playing there, Soderblom playing there, very impressive, very good mm-hmm. as far as like how mature their play style has to be to get there. Um, can you say where Rohanson played? Because you are done. Fjarsted. Fjarsted. It's, it's got the two dots <laughs> over the A. But um, <laughs> that's really good, too, though, that he had 25 points, 52 games played, remembering that he's a defenseman. So right. that's really encouraging. Um, it seems like he could get some point production. So excited just to see him play in mm-hmm. North America. Excited yeah. to see him come to the Griffins. Excited to see things start going Excited forward. to see him. <laughs> just go forward. Like, yeah. let's just get all these prospects in and just make a whole team and then, like, win everything. Of just all Swedes. Yeah. Well, and, and, well, and some, like, grit. You yeah. Know? Gritty grit, Americans. Grit balls. I yeah. think with Johansson, too, he's not as debated as Edvinson, but there's a lot of people who think that he's going to just, like, hop into Grand Rapids and off he goes to Detroit. I think Detroit needs some D. Yeah. Our, <laughs> our Detroit <laughs> D lineup right now is not looking super hot. So I mm-hmm. think that anybody they can get up there quickly, you yeah. know. Yeah. Efficiently, is and if be Johansson ends up being this like crazy Sweet. intense spark plug Sweet. that can just go, then I'll be sad to see him yeah. go because we've been waiting so. But long, I do but think we have at least a full season of both him and Vero in Grand Rapids, yeah. whatever that means. And I, but the reason the prospects tournament and the training camp for us is so exciting is because we get a little closer peak, and I think mm-hmm. they can finally start to play for where they're going to end up. I th- I feel like when they're in Europe. It's kind of like this placeholder for where they yeah. want to be. You know, yeah. like they were drafted. I, I can't imagine how hard it is to get drafted and then go back, you know? Like, yeah. not go back in your productivity or your development, but to not be here. At least for yeah. my personality, if I went back, I'd be like, Pah. yeah. Or like, you I sign- just want to be there. Yeah. You, know? you sign an ELC and you're like packing your bags ready to go, and that's just not how it works. Yeah. So I, I think you're right. These guys, the, the fact that the prospect tournament, it is really up close and personal, too. So it's you really do cool. get to see the finite things, too. And yeah. it's the first time all these guys will be playing together. I do want to stress how important it is for all these guys to stay healthy. I can't Please. tell you how many years we see someone get injured and then their entire season is right. on pause again. So for right. these guys to stay healthy is important to not be injured. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing. Some of these guys on the whole team, 24 guys on the roster, might be scratched for a game because of maintenance or something, just mm-hmm. because they can't they can't really afford to get so worn out that they can't produce at mm-hmm. training camp, because training camp is where they get all their stats for how they can, how their physicality yeah. is measuring up. They, all they measure fitness testing. It's, all it's of that crazy. to yeah. see how, how good they can be and how much further they need mm-hmm. to go. So they have to have, it's a fun thing, but it's also like, a, okay, it's a smart gaming type thing. Yeah, Where exactly. you have to figure out if you want them in. Because, like, I know sometimes it's like, oh, he's scratched. It's like, well, you don't want them to get, like, too dead, and then they can't <laughs> perform. And then it goes to training <laughs> camp, and it shoots them But then the again, foot. I think that this tournament, I wouldn't say it's easy for them. Because I don't like know how a, easy things are for them. It's, I like, think it's like a really long warm-up. And yeah. then they get into camp, and then it's that, that's when work really starts. But I think it's fun because yeah. they all just get to 
put it all out there and play against play all their friends and eat and bagels in front of everybody yeah. and not share. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's really cool. All these guys. I mean, again, these are the top three defensemen we're looking forward to. They're not the only defensemen on the roster. We're just looking at guys we have drafted yeah. um, for Detroit and just kind of comparing them along who we have in Detroit right now. Again, yeah. not the greatest not setup the right most, now. I I feel like I think it's in, it's kind of intentional though. We're just buying time until we get these dudes. I wouldn't say yeah. I would just say that it's. I feel like it's a lot of placeholders, which, I mean, what do you do in the meantime where you're trying to wait for your guys to be ready? Like, you you don't have much of a choice but to try get as much of a good team together. We could always just call, like, Croner and and Lidstrom, (laughs) like, yo, dudes. That would be so much fun. I would love that. Well, the alumni game. If I could call them, that would be fun. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But there is a chance while we're in Traverse City that we'll do a goalie update. I just realized Mm -hmm. that we won't have time before we leave to do a goalie Mm -hmm. update. But when we're there seeing them in person will probably be the best way to do one of those um so look for that video coming up where we're going to be watching these the three goaltenders and i know kosa is on the list Mm -hmm. and then bednash is also there i forget who the other one is probably just an invitee uh yes i think yeah um but bednash and kosa are going to be there as well so um look for that video probably Mm -hmm. next week and we're going to be in traverse city next week so if you can catch any of these games please do make sure you look at the red wings uh Mm -hmm. youtube where they i think they broadcast all of these yeah um, if not that, they broadcast their training camp games, I believe, the scrimmages. The scrimmages, yeah. And I'll do my best, too, and we'll do our best to keep up on Twitter and on the website, accesshockeymi.com, just to yeah. make sure you guys are aware of what's going on. Yeah. Um, might be a little quick hits here and there, but just so you guys are informed as to how our prospects are doing. Yeah, so let us know in the comments below uh, what you're excited for um, for these defensemen or what defensemen you are excited to see. Um, where do you think Edmondson's going to end up without seeing him first? And then um, maybe if you guys could, like, you know, watch him through this tournament and then update the comments and see, yeah. like, where you see think if your now. opinion changed. Yeah, see, yeah. like, if, oh, no, he needs more time or whatever. Um, I doubt anybody's going to think he needs more time, <laughs> at least in the comments. I wouldn't doubt if I thought he needed Sign more time. Sign him to six seasons now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 4.7 Pretending I'm Kenny million Holland. Dollars. 10 years minimum. <laughs> yeah. So let us know in the comments. Um... And thank you so much again for watching. We really appreciate all your support. And like this video and subscribe to this channel for more hockey content. Mm -hmm. And if you're smart, (laughs) like if you're smart. (laughs) And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.